Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing the differences between a brand name and a generic name. As an example, you may have heard of the medication Tylenol, which would be a brand name of acetaminophen, which would be the generic name. Another example would be ibuprofen, a generic medication, which can be branded as Motrin or Advil. In this presentation, I'm going to be going over some information from the FDA regarding generic medications. So let's jump right into it. So the first point I'd like to discuss is that generic medicines work the same as brand name medicines. So a generic medicine works in the same way and provides the same clinical benefit as its brand name version. This standard applies to all FDA approved generic medicines. A generic medicine is the same as a brand name medicine in dosage, safety, effectiveness, strength, stability, and quality, as well as in the way it is taken and should be used. Generic drugs must meet high standards to receive FDA approval. The active ingredient in the generic medicine is the same as in the brand name drug or innovator drug. The generic medicine has the same strength, use indications, form, such as a tablet or an injectable, and route of administration, such as oral or topical. The inactive ingredients of a generic medicine are acceptable. The generic medicine is manufactured under the same strict standards as the brand name medicine. The container in which the medicine will be shipped and is sold is appropriate, and the label is the same as the brand name medicine's label. Approved generic medicines are generally only sold after patents and exclusivities protecting the brand name version end. So patents and exclusivities are forms of protection for drug makers that may affect how and when a generic drug is approved and can be sold. New brand name drugs are usually protected by patents issued by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office that prohibits others from selling generic versions of the same drug. Periods of marketing exclusivity for brand name drugs can also impact the approval of generic drugs. The FDA must comply with the delays in approval that the patent and the exclusivities impose. Once these patents and marketing exclusivities expire, or if the patents are successfully challenged by the generic drug company, the generic drug can receive full approval and can be sold. And the last point I'd like to discuss here with generic medicines is that generic medicines cost less than brand name medicines. So generic medicines tend to cost less than their brand name counterparts because they do not have to repeat animal and clinical or human studies that were required of the brand name medicine to demonstrate safety and effectiveness. In addition, multiple applications for generic drugs are often approved to market a single product. This creates competition in the marketplace, typically resulting in lower prices. All right, that's all we're going to talk about today with generic drugs and brand name drugs. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Good for today. Take care.